So I have here four examples of wood cutting technology from our past. Although some of this is still as modern and as vital as anything that you could name. This is a bow saw. I don't know how old that is, but bow saws have been around a long time. This is for cutting small pieces. And in fact, for rough carpenter work in times gone by. This is a cross cut saw, AKA a misery whip. Think of the labor involved. Now the handles are obviously not on here. Think of the labor involved in sawing through a log or falling a tree with a misery whip. Those were men. Have two axes here. A single bit Collins, about a five pounder. A double bit True Temper, cruiser's axe, probably three pounds, maybe three and a half. So there has always been elements of danger associated with cutting wood and not just the release of the forces in falling a tree or bucking a tree that's laying in, a, in a, an awkward position, but just the danger from cuts. Now, as bad as a cut from a chainsaw is, and they are bad, you can put a terrible cut on yourself with a cruiser's ax. I mean, they used to joke, my dad used to joke, that he would only feel comfortable letting me use a short-handled ax when I was a boy if I was standing in a cut-off 50-gallon drum. Because shins, and toes and boot tops and kneecaps have been severed. I mean, you can put a cut that will leave an, a disability. And then there was the whole thing about infection. I mean, even a small cut, even a nick, even cutting yourself shaving. Danger has been part of wood cutting since wood cutting was necessary, which was from the first day, by the way. Chopping wood with an ax is fun. It's and it's sort of energizing. There is something about that movement and the feeling and the sound of the bit cutting into the wood. It's awesome. You're going to want to do it and you already want to do it or you wouldn't be watching this video. But if you want to see somebody who knows how and is not afraid to cut cordwood with an axe, we're talking old school, go to Skill Cult. It's an undiscovered gem of a YouTube channel. And that guy knows how to use an axe. He understands axes and he can work them. You're gonna like it. Never leave your double bitted axe stuck in a stump, ever. Not for five minutes. That is as dangerous as it gets. You fall on that blade, a trip to the hospital may or may not do you any good. Lean it up. Chainsaws have been part of my upbringing. In fact, a quick story. I moved to Las Vegas and uh, dove into construction. Pretty soon I'm on a big tilt-up job and I'm putting a roof system, part of putting a roof system, it wasn't panelized. We were do dropping uh, glue lamb beams into S Simpson saddles. We were drilling holes. We were putting hangers on the beams and we were dropping TJIs into the hangers. So the superintendent assigned me the task of cutting TJIs to length. Now they were big TJIs. And what he was used to seeing was a fellow with a square and a skill saw cutting a joist individually. And I did that for about a half an hour. And then I went to my truck and I got my chainsaw. I've not been without a chainsaw since I was 16. And I went up to the unit. I squared both ends. I cut off both ends to length, all the pieces at once. And I was done. He was flabbergasted. He said, you know, I heard that they gave kids from Oregon a chainsaw on their third birthday, but I didn't believe it until today. <laughs>